What's up, guys? <clears throat> Welcome to the stream. We're going to get started here in just a second. Just getting a couple things dialed in. And then we will be off and running, having some fun. Uh oh. It says I have a poor network connection. so close you guys we're almost ready to stream jump into the chat let me know where you're tuning in from what you're up to how's things how's life um yeah super close we're almost ready to go here All right, you guys ready? All right, welcome to the stream, guys. Hey, that intro is a little bit different because I didn't have my intro video teed up, but that's all right. If you're new to the stream, my name's Derek. I'm a graphic designer, creative director, web developer, kind of a guy. Um, I've got five kids. <clears throat> my wife and I live in Montana. And we love what we do. So tonight what I'm gonna do, I'm actually working on uh, a website for a client and I've got a lot of work to do. So we'll, we'll see how this goes because uh, sometimes this is mentally ta taxing uh, building websites. And right now I barely have two brain cells to rub together because my kids started school this week. And so we went from getting up at like eight in the morning to like getting up at 5.30 or six to get them all out the door. and all those good things. So, um, yeah, it should be fun tonight. Pretty, pretty low key, except for the music is kind of, I don't know. We'll see. I, I chose something a little more upbeat tonight. Hopefully it's casual enough that it's not too distracting, but upbeat enough that I can stay focused and awake. <clears throat> All right. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just cleaning up some stuff. Usually I do all this kind of stuff before I go live and uh, have that intro video that really helps out while I get everything dialed in. Um, but I don't have the intro video today, so we're just kind of going for it. And uh, feel free to jump in the chat. If you guys have questions, feel free to ask them. I love helping you guys out. I love hearing what you guys are up to, what you're working on, what's new, what's going on in your world. And um, yeah, we'll have a lot of fun. And in the meantime, I want to say thank you to my subscribers. Uh, Behance recently opened up. Uh, we're, we're streaming to Behance on YouTube and Facebook and um, Twitch. And recently, Behance opened up some subscriber areas where I can give you guys some special behind the scenes content, uh, special graphics and downloadable files and all kinds of goodies. So for those of you who are subscribed, uh, Adrian and Stacy and Ryan and Jenna and... Uh, I know I'm missing one. Um, I know I'm missing one that just joined. Bernie, thank you so much, you guys. Uh, brand new, brand new subscription. So thanks to my my current first ever subscribers to join. Uh, very excited to welcome you to the subscription. So uh, let's do this. Let's get going. We're we're so close here. Got the chat pulled up. All right, and let's dive in. So the site that I'm working on right now, uh, some of you, if, and how's the music levels? Is it too loud? It's kind of loud in my ears, but I think the replay it's, I've got it dialed down a little bit. So we're working for the third bowl brand. It's been a long time coming. I've been working on a lot of things like this coaster. Uh, we've done some stickers. I designed the logo. I designed the business cards, the stickers, all kinds of stuff. This is the back of the business cards. So you'll kind of see the header I'm about to build on the website. Well, I already built it, but you'll see how that comes into play. And then another coaster, very, very similar to the other one, just a little bit different. Plus the hat, rocking the hat that we got back. Super cool hat, it's a leather patch hat uh, from my buddy Braden over at Zome Design in Spokane, Washington. Check him out. Um, what's up, Megan? Thanks for joining in. The music level's fine, good. Awesome, thanks. Let me know if it changes. Uh, so let's pull up this website. I've got 
a bajillion windows open because I've been working all day and I didn't really clean up <laughs> everything. I just kind of went for it. So here's where we're at on this website. I'm using WordPress. I am using the salient WordPress theme and, and basically the way the third bowl works is we, we have tenants that we help support with branding, um, uh, uh, branding efforts, everything from distribution to, um, brand, all kinds of stuff. And I apologize if words get hard for me tonight between having COVID a couple weeks ago and just like brain fog and then lack of sleep because kids are in school. This could get interesting fast, but we're going to go for it. Um, there we go. Okay. So, so these are the pages I've been working on. Uh, here's, here's kind of the vibe. So basically what's going to happen is each tenant, each brand we work for is going to have their own sub page kind of like this. So I'm doing a first pass just to make it basic, just to get it up and running. And then you, they'll be able to click and actually view the website from the tenant. So here's the other one. Uh, and these are just brands that we support. Uh, this one, so the site is very, very basic, except for this. This kind of went nuts because it was fun. <laughs> Megan says, it's okay. Words are always hard. Um, so this is a parallax. I think I showed how to do this on one of the streams. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, Short-term memory is also taking a hit, I feel like. So um, as you move the mouse, it kind of moves around. And this is just a header. I say just because um, I know it's a little more technical than that, but basically it's a, it's a header inside of the salient theme and it's got multiple layers and you just stack them up. Each one of these is a transparent PNG and as you move the mouse, it just kind of moves around for you. So that's what's going on here. Now as you scroll down, uh, picture the grill. These grills are so cool, so cool. And they weigh, <laughs> they're so heavy. Uh, anyway, so then here you click on this and it goes to their site. So this is one of the tenants that we support as well with our branding and photos and stuff. So, so I have these tenants and now what I'm doing is fleshing out the become a tenant page. So like how you know, the benefits of what's working with us or why to work with us. And then also this page, let me reload it. Um, so you kind of see the animation. So the bowl kind of spins in. The font is not right yet. I've got these two buttons here. We've got videos of some of the stuff we've done. So pretty cool. And then the tenant logos. And then as you click on these, it goes to that page for that tenant. Okay. So that's kind of the vibe, kind of the direction we're headed. I have lots of other ideas and I'm just trying to get the basics in place right now. Um, and this color. So when I built the brand, I'm just going to go, let's click on home. Actually, we'll click on the illustrator logo to just open up like no document, but then I can see the illustrator workspace. And up here, I've got a library for this company. And when I did the logo, we have this kind of cream color, the gray, red, and like a darker darker gray, almost black. And so this color, we haven't really used much in the brand yet. And so I was kind of playing with it a little bit more uh, prominent and I'm not sure I like it yet. I might change it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I might change it. And also, I don't know why the video stops and doesn't keep playing when I go away. So there's some bugs to work through, but this is the progress I made in the last day. Uh, this is what I've been working on. And if you guys want to see the beginning of the progress, I did stream about this a couple streams ago to see how I got to these stages. So what I want to do now is I've got some videos. Oh no, I had them pulled up. And now I don't remember where I saved these guys. So give me a second while I find these files because I just had them. Um, oh no, <laughs> fail. And then I feel like in every time I'm live, I have a hard time talking and looking at the same time and finding things. Oh no, I literally just had these. Where did I put these? Uh oh. Um, there we go. I think I just found them.
All right, so. Just checking a couple things. Okay, so I've got these videos that um, that I got from these brands of just uh, just the, the the point is they're like a, a twenty second background video for the brand. This is they make tripods. These this all food in our company uh, carbon fiber tripods and some other stuff. Um, so it's a simple simple background element. Um, here's another one for this company that does some cool stuff. Um, uh oh clicked on the wrong spot just some simple simple video here's another one so uh, basically I want to add these videos to the backgrounds on some of these I want to kind of like what we did here and flesh out these pages so that's kind of what I'm working through right now you guys <laughs> oh no, Rogue Files, Megan, Megan says. I know, I've been working so sloppy lately between just multiple projects and then live streaming and then I just like, oh, I'll just throw it here real quick. Like This is my desktop if I, if I move everything out of the way. Uh, it's not too bad right now, actually. Usually, there are just piles of files. And see, I have a folder on my desktop called Desktop over you can't see it. And then I have another folder on my desktop called Desktop 2. That's how sloppy we have gotten. And then I've got all kinds of files in here that I'm never gonna find and I need to go through and sort. And look, I've got desktop and desktop two. And between these two folders on my desktop, it is 30, no way. My desktop two folder is 115 gigs and my desktop folder is 33 gigs. That is insane. It's almost 150 gigs between these two folders. So what happens is I, when I'm about to go live and I'm like, hey, let me just kind of clean up some of this garbage real quick. I make a new folder and I call it like desktop to clean someday, which already, you already know where this is going, right? And then I grab like the folders that are just sitting on my desktop and I like throw them in there. I'm gonna not do that tonight because I don't want to lose what's going on here. But that's what's gotten me into this mess. So learn from me and don't do that. <laughs> Just sort as you go. What's up, Rob? Welcome to the stream. Um, holy moly. <laughs> yeah, it's so bad, Megan. Um, you gotta bring some of the gear to the range on your farm. Yeah, dude, I, so I have, it's so ridiculous. So the companies I work for, I basically have unlimited access to all that kind of stuff night vision, all kinds of stuff. Oh, used, <clears throat> Rob says desktop clutter. That's what he does for his, okay. Anyway, I have all this access to this and I'm like, meh, like I don't, I could care less. If I'm gonna buy stuff or spend money on stuff, like this is what, look, this is literally what, this is where my money goes, right here on my desk. Phone, tablet, this, like this is where, just off to the side, I've got like a electric drum set. I just bought, just bought this thing this is a loop station so like you have like microphones coming in or your guitar and you can like loop it and make music and stuff I'm very excited about it very excited about it um, but that's where my money goes and to drones and stuff anyway all that to say I digress and I'm stalling because I don't know what to do on these websites <laughs> So if you guys have questions, if there's something you're working on, Rob, you want to see, or Megan, because you're in the chat, you guys are the ones kind of hanging out with me tonight. Currently, there's a lot of other people watching, but you are the two actually throwing out comments in the chat, and I appreciate you for being here. So if you have questions or you want to work on something specific, hit me up, man. Uh, holy smokes, I'm just looking at a loop station today. Seriously, really? I love it. I love it. I love it so much. And then I've got... A pile of guitar. Oh, that's so music. Music is another hobby of mine. Music and cameras and gear. So I've got a ton of guitar pedals. I've got the Strymon Timeline. I don't know if you've seen that, Rob. It's incredible. Uh, I don't know if you're into guitar or music or what you're doing, but um, yeah, I love the Loop Station. It's pretty cool. All right, <laughs> this is what this is gonna devolve into. Is devolve? Devolve? Is that the right word? It's just me just talking this is this is the podcast the late night podcast with Derek Mitchell if that's the case we'll get my wife on here too 
we'll fire up the podcast again. We used to do a podcast together and then life happened and we just kind of stopped. Okay, guys, let's, let's do stuff. Um, let's just start small. Let's just get something going here. And now I can't even find my windows because I closed everything. Is it this one? Is it this one? No. The reason why I'm not too worried about like being perfect tonight, I used to like stress out about my streams being just absolutely perfect, but then I realized it sets an unrealistic expectation of being a designer because there's so many times where you're trying to do something and it just doesn't go the way you want it to. Here, this is also where my money goes. Look at this. I think I want to buy one of these. So have you guys seen this yet? The reason why I was looking at it is because one of the, one of the guys I work with, Austin Web Designs, it's your fault. Um, so we're, we're building some other web stuff uh, with the company I work for. And we were looking at how DJI built this page. So this is the new FPV drone. And I 100% want to get one of these. But the reason why we were looking at this page was because uh, of how they do things. Very, very much like Apple does things. Where you have an image and it fades in and then as you scroll it animates and does all kinds of cool stuff so i'm still scrolling on the page right now uh rob says favorite guitar and you spelled it i forgot rob you're in canada aren't you because it's f-a-v-o-u-r at favorite i love that so much you play acoustic poorly <laughs> nah it's all good um i play electric and acoustic i play some bass i play drums i played trumpet in middle school i could maybe play a scale on the trumpet now probably not i pretty much have forgotten it all uh yeah <clears throat> my opening footage was a drone shot at the beach that was in actually this very photo on my desktop this photo top down if the logo wasn't there is that beach in washington state it's salt creek um i took this photo with my drone so fun stuff anyway so this new fpv drone is insane. I mean, look at the footage they're getting. It's just incredible. But the reason why I'm looking at it is just how everything animates on the page, how the text is laid out. Um, everything about this is very sleek and modern. And as a designer, um, <laughs> just a couple of, oh, how do you say that? Is it hosers? In the chat with you tonight. That's funny, Megan. I didn't know you're a Canadian too. That's awesome. I mean, I'm so far north, I'm almost to Canada. Almost. I think we're like two hours from the border. Uh, so <laughs> as a designer, I'm always looking for inspiration, right? And I'm always looking at how can I push what I do further. And so this site, this, this, what I'm about to show you specifically is what I want to figure out how to do next. So as you scroll, the animation, they basically have rendered out JPEG images and it, and it changes what frame it's on based on your scroll position. And as you get closer, you see the video starts to play in the background. Guys, let me know the music if it's too loud. It's pretty loud in my ears, but I think on the stream it's a little bit quieter. Um, and as you scroll further, the video becomes more uh, apparent. And then look at, we've got a mask that matches the shapes. Dude, this is so so slick as i scroll bigger the mask gets bigger and then the numbers start to change to show you the the, the viewing angle the degrees that you're seeing here and so those numbers change i'm just scroll as i scroll up or down the the mask and the numbers change on my scroll it's so cool so cool so let's break it down so basically what's happening i scroll down the page and then somewhere in here this element animates on scroll and it's on top of the video layer and somehow the Z index changes and the video now becomes on top and we've got a mask animating and a video playing so really the elements are a keyframed render of the uh, of the of the goggles a video and the HTML text like that's pretty much it and I say that pretty much it in quotes because this is gonna like I'm so pumped to figure out how to do this but I know it's gonna take some time here uh, <laughs> that's funny 
yeah, the parallax stuff is what you want to try next, Rob. That's awesome. So there's a lot of themes that'll do it, and there's some different approaches to it. And like stuff like this. Okay, so as I scroll, this image kind of zooms in, like the, the actual mask of this image. Not only is it not truly square, it's, it's angled, um, but it zooms in a little bit as you scroll, right? Just, just little, little touches that make such a difference on being a cool site or a boring site. So this is definitely my inspiration for some projects I have coming up. So cool. Um, so much to look at. So I'm kind of scrolling a little bit faster. I just want to see. Oh, so good. Like this, the mask, as you scroll in, it just zooms in and it just feels so immersive, right? So this is what I want to get to. I, I've been exploring this a little bit already. I don't have the answer for you guys tonight. In the meantime, I'm doing my best with what I'm working on to, um, to, to do, to make what I'm doing more interactive. If that makes, makes any sense. All right, let's pull back up the other browser. dogs are too honest at times um almost uncomfortable feeling of movement right uh let's see oh guys did i close the window that had all of that open oh no i just swapped screens okay so i mean this is this is nice it animates in it's clean right it's not it's not bad i just gotta figure out what to do next okay so um Let's add some images down here and let's kind of make it cooler. So I just got to click through and find, just kind of re reacquaint myself with where I left off on some things. Okay. All right. So I got this page, this page, this page, this page. All right. Let's go to the tenants page and we'll go ahead and edit this. So uh, again, I'm in WordPress right now. I'm on this page. I'm using the WP Bakery page builder, which is part of the salient. Where's the, there you go. Salient, the salient WordPress theme has tons of options baked into it. Uh, I really like it. I can do the back end editing like this, where I can like drag and drop elements and kind of modify things. Or I can go to the front end editor. If I click on this blue tab, and it's gonna open up the front end of this website to where it's a little more point and click. So as I scroll through and I find text that might wanna change, I can actually click right into it. Now, these buttons are stacked here. If I actually preview this, how do I preview this from here? I never work on this version like, like this. Anyway, not a perfect representation, but it's close. So if you had a bunch of text, it's really easy to click in and like change stuff. But again, I prefer to work on the back end of this. Okay. So what I want to do is come to the bottom where I have these logos and I'm just hit actually preview and hold down command and click to open a new tab. So you can see what I'm doing. So these logos down here. Okay is what these images are. So it's just a single image. It's a row with five columns. And I wanna add something down here. So I'm gonna click on the little plus sign here that's gonna add, it's gonna prepend to this column. So we'll click on this and I'm going to add a row. In this row, oh man, there's a few ways we could do this. And I might change my mind halfway through this full width background. All right, well, let's just start off. We've got five brands, so it's not going to be even. I could either do five. All right, here's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at like making two columns, adding an image, add an image. And I know I'm flying through this. I actually, I just, I have to get this work done and I'm trying to actually show you guys what I'm doing, but I, trying to kind of fly through here too. I'm going to clone the image and then drag the clone over here. Oops. When you have just one, it tends to bounce around a little bit. Excuse me. There we go. Click on the pencil tool. Let's edit this image, swap it out for something else. 
and I'm just kind of playing around. I, I'm just trying to see what this looks like. I'll hit preview. It's going to update my preview page. Scroll to the bottom. Cool. So I've got two images there. So, um, mm. it looks nice. I'm trying, Oh, I don't know if I want to go with this approach or not. Also, I noticed very, very subtly, but the, the dimensions aren't quite the same. So the pixels don't line up below. Uh, and the salient templates are built. No. Okay. So, so WordPress by default, Rob is, um, I'm missing other comments from Megan too. Sorry. I'm trying to keep up with everything. Um, WordPress is free. Anybody can download it and you can install it on your server. Some hosts make it very easy to do, um, without having to do any hard work. Salient is a theme that adds extra functionality. So the best way to maybe get a, a good understanding of this would be if you were to go to um, theme. Oh, well, when my page loads, I got to give a quick shout out. If you guys would rather see tutorials that are very succinct and to the point, uh, go to my website at DerekMitchell.com. Over here we have tutorials and you click on that tutorials page. These are all free, free tutorials uh, that you can go back and watch like how to, uh, you know, graphic t-shirt design with Adobe Illustrator and uh, some f Adobe Fresco stuff. There's a lot more here on my channel. Uh, how to live trace hand lettering in Illustrator and Photoshop, business card design in Photoshop. So lots of cool stuff that I've done. You guys can check out for free. And then I also do have some, uh, some goodies I can send you if you join the newsletter. And then I also have a bunch of courses that are more premium, more content. Uh, you get the point. So uh, definitely check that out. But what I want to show you right now is Theme Forest. You go to themeforest.net. And you come down here to WordPress. And then you go to Popular Items. So Avada has been the reigning champion, the king of themes for years basically since the beginning of time, at least in internet years. Uh, if you scroll down though, all of these are beautiful, but here's salient. It's been a running contender for a long time. And if you click on that, you can see salient and it's, it's oh, interesting. It showed six, it's like $60 to buy it. But when you think about how much effort it would take you to build in all of this functionality, all of the animations, all of the things it can do it's it would cost thousands of dollars tens of thousands of dollars so to get it for you know 60 bucks is a steal so you can click on the preview item button here and so this is going to show you like the best of the best of what salient can do and i don't make any money at all i'm not an affiliate for them at all this is just what i use and i've enjoyed it uh so i'm just going to show you bernie you're not on the chat tonight but thank you for the new subscribe on my channel on the behance channel uh, you had a question about the X theme and, and you do some work and some, some custom digital art. And I checked it out, by the way. Thank you for sharing. Uh, under salient, there's this portfolio tab and there's all of these different styles and examples of what the portfolio can do. So if you're even, even you guys watching tonight, um, you know, Adobe has a really cool portfolio feature, uh, feature, but maybe you want to do something custom. So all of these single project examples, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to tear this tab off into a new tab. So there's just a separate browser window. I'm going to come back in here to portfolio and I'm going to hold down the command key on my keyboard and just start clicking on all of these samples. So I'm holding down command and I click on them all. And as I click on them, it just opens up a bunch of new tabs across the top. So I can come back and check them out in just a second. Uh, I'll come back to portfolio. We've got full width layout, hold down command and just click on every one of these. And click on all of these. I want to see them all. Okay. And then I can hit command W to close the window I'm on or control W on a PC. I'm assuming. So this is the, um, minimal portfolio. So cool. That time lapse is so cool. So this is a layout. This is kind of like a project overview of. Um, or not an overview. What do they call it? Oh, what do they call it? This is where the words get hard at night, guys. Sorry. Huh. That's funny. Avada. Yeah, like the, the reigning champion. Rob says, always cheers for the underdog. <laughs> Show me them all. Yes. 
So the other thing that I didn't get to yet, let me just jump back over there real quick before we get too far down this rabbit hole, is I've noticed Elementor has become such a big deal that it's its own sub tab on Envato Marketplace. Also, when you click on it, it redirects to Elementor and it's a, if you learn more about it, if I click on this, it's 100% an affiliate link. So they're making money pairing up with Elementor, I'm just saying. Good for them. This is Elementor. It's like a page builder, much like the WP Bakery that I use. Drag and drop has lots of really cool possibilities. I just have not fully immersed myself in this yet to be good at it, but this could be a really good page builder for you guys too when you're building websites. So there's that. <clears throat> there's that. It's got its own tab. Okay, back to salient. Laying this out. Oh, what is it called? Oh, my wife isn't. She was sitting over there a second ago, but she's not here. What is it called? A case study. A case study. When you like show, here's what we did for the brand, and here's all the different things. So the awards and the who the client was and all that kind of stuff. So they've got some colors and materials, the typography. This is all built into this theme as far as layout options. What we delivered. See the next post, the next project. So this is all portfolio layouts. So uh, I love how this looks with minimal effort, especially if you have great photography. Okay. Um, so there's one look command W to close that window. And then I have all these tabs I could go through. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit and scroll real fast. You kind of get the point. Beautiful full width. Oh, this is nice. It's so nice. Okay. And I'm just trying to like, get ideas of what I want to do and what's possible and just stay fresh. So I do this a lot at night all the time when I'm doing projects, I just go through and I quickly click through things like the DJI site and just see what inspires me or what I want to try and do with my life or the website. So anyway, um, this is getting a little redundant at this point. So when you guys get a minute, feel free to check it out. Cool stuff. Oh, you know what I could, oh, okay. Thinking out loud. I really like, and now I closed them, that masonry style where the images all kind of pack together. Yeah, now I, I closed them all, whatever. Um, so, so there's that. Here's one of the tenants, their webpage I was just putting on this site. Just a simple parallax header. Not like a multi-layered header. Um, okay, so there's these images. There's the logos. And I'm just a little bit, hey, Bernie, what's going on? You joined the chat. I was literally just talking about you and showing you things. So um, maybe catch the replay if you want, where are we at? We're about 30 minutes into the replay, Bernie. So uh, when this goes back live at about 30 minutes in, I was talking about all the different themes because you had asked in the chat, in the subscriber area about if X was a good theme for you because uh, you weren't sure if it was gonna fit all of your artwork. And I was talking about how in Salient, there's, there's a really good portfolio features. So check that out uh, if you want to. Elementor has some cool stuff too. And I sent you those links, actually. I replied to you in Behance, so check that out. I sent those links already. Um, all right, Megan, we have WP Bakery on all of our sites and Elementor on the other. Which one's your favorite? So you're using both also. I'd be interested to know like, if you have a, a, a favorite or not. All right. I'm super stuck guys. So I need to, gosh, what am I going to do? Let's just, let's just add some things. Okay. So here's, here's the, here's the best part of this whole theme. When you have the WP bakery page builder in with the salient theme down here, there's this button salient templates. I'm going to click on that. And there's all kinds of stuff. If I hit all, there's 350 different items. And um, what I'm looking for right now is something that would represent these five different tenants, some kind of a photo grid thing. And I know there is one down here coming up. I'm not sure if I like the layout for this website, if I want to put it in or not. 
So, um, so what I'll do is I'll scroll through and kind of see what fits what I'm trying to do. Like for example, here's how fast this is. You just find a section like this one, you click on it, and it throws it into the bottom of the page. So give it a second, because that was a bigger section. So I've got all these sections that I already had there. There's the logos that I had in the two images. And then it just threw in this giant section here. If I hit preview on the page, <laughs> I think it says, Derek, you summoned Bernie. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so as I scroll down, that new section we just added came in here. So it's that fast. Look at that, all the built-in, like, like all of it, it's so nice. It's so easy, because then I can just go in and I could put in content. All right, I kind of want to pivot, you guys. I, I'm, uh, I'm not sure, I want to show you guys some cool things, but I'm having a hard time focusing and and streaming at the same time. So. You all right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. My wife, my wife asked me to get down a pot of, she's making pasta. <laughs> a pot, not pot. Okay. Uh, did you get it? She got it. Sorry. Love you. I don't, I mean, you could, why would you? She asked, well, yeah, you make pizza. She asked if you can heat up olives. Yeah, you can heat up olives. What are you doing? I would not eat warm salad. That sounds gross. You need a microphone. My wife should just come join this live stream. If we're doing this, we should just do this. She's in the kitchen. I could set up a camera in the kitchen and a microphone. I have a long enough cable. Don't tempt me with a good time. It could be fun. <laughs> um, Megan says, I don't know if I have a favorite between WP Bakery and Element. I love how you and Rob spell favorite O-U-R-I-T. Like, that's that's the best. Um, she says she doesn't use either enough. I know. Uh, I want to learn Elementor better. Uh <laughs> That's why she's not having handing me a lovely beverage tonight. Rob says that you're not bringing me a drink tonight because you're in the kitchen. And he says I should drag you into this. No, I mean, last stream you brought me something to drink is all he's saying. Yeah. Yeah. What? She's out. She cannot have a microphone. She is out of control. She gets out of control so fast. Zero to 60. I and live. I don't have an opportunity to like mute it or delete it. This is about to fall apart. Okay. It's all good. Um, Megan says it's all good. She says pot is legal up there. We're talking about food. Spaghetti pots, Megan. Come on. Anyway. Um, <laughs> guys so much fun if you want to see the real chaos and you've subscribed check out so there's this thing in one of the channels in behance it shows the behind the scenes and there's an app called marco polo channels let me pull it up for you guys real quick i don't know what she's doing back there but i hope you can't hear it uh <laughs> she can't taste anything because of covid uh she she's not i mean we're it's been a while now, but she still can't taste her smell. And she's like, I made it spicy enough that she can taste it. Okay. So, so this is the, um, this is the app Marco channels. Whomp. And, um, so like, oh, this is gonna, a little balcony. Check this out. So here over on main street. So this is the view from my office downtown on main street. Fun stuff. So oh, there's my office. Now, there's Austin uh, web designs. What's up, Austin? A couple workstations here. Um, so just some cool behind the scenes stuff that you guys can check out. Oh, that was the whole tour. Yeah, there's so much more. So we're setting up a podcast downtown. I've completely given up on building the website. If you guys haven't told, figured that out yet. Focus. So my desk used to be there. 
That's where we have our meetings and stuff. I haven't given you guys an office tour yet, although it's kind of it's kind of changing frequently. The uh, air hockey, the dart boards, ping pong. We just finished building out the bar. Okay, you got to subscribe to see the rest of the office. So um, anyway, that's Marco Channels. If you guys haven't seen it yet. So anyway, all right, Rob, I have no idea what you just threw up in the text. Is that like supposed to be a picture? What am I seeing? Did you pass out on your keyboard? What am I seeing on there? Okay. Um, <laughs> what's up, Muhammad over on Facebook? I see you. You are joining in the middle of the most bizarre stream for me right now uh, because... <laughs> We were building websites and then we got kind of derailed. So now we're just kind of chatting in the chat. So um, <laughs> Megan says, it's all right. We weren't being helpful or supportive of the website build. Sorry. It's all good. Um, I can build it later after I stream and just stay up till two in the morning because it still has to get done whether I do it now or later. So um, so while we kind of chat, is there, what else do you guys want to play with or design? I don't even know. Let's, oh, I got to do something. I need to make something or I'm going to go crazy. All right. So let's go to this page is kind of fleshed out. This page is fleshed out. They're going to be better. They're, we're going to add more. Maybe let's, maybe let's add a video. Let me go to my downloads where I found where I hid my files that I couldn't find earlier. Banner videos too. Let's go to, um, Okay, so here's this fab banner. Cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I use this online place called um, online-convert. And it's a free online file converter. I have no idea if you're gonna get a virus visiting the site or not, so I apologize in advance, but I've been using it for about two years now, and I think I'm virus-free other than COVID. So there's my disclaimer. So funny, Rob. Um, so, so what we're going to do down here, this video converter, I'm going to click on this and click go. So these are all the different video types we can convert to. Okay. So I know that to put a background video in this site, it needs an MOV file. It needs an OGV file and a WebM file. No idea why, it's just how it works. All right, so what we're gonna do, oh, you know what, actually it might be MP4, now that I think about it, I'm almost positive, yeah, okay. <clears throat> also, this file currently is only 22 meg, I hear you. <gasps> Thank you for the beverage, my wife brought me a beverage. It's a fancy, it's a fancy margarita drink thing, okay. Thank you, Rob, for bringing it up. What's up, Gareth over on Behance? All right, Gareth says, hi, all, still awake in the UK. Been on Behance since 4.30 p.m. Oh, my goodness. What time is it where you're at right now? You're like, are you eight hours ahead of us? I hope not for your sake. Um, the chat is out of control. We're having a great time. I was going to build a website. I'm still kind of attempting it. Um, it's just, we're all over the place. So feel free to jump in the chat, ask questions. We're just going to roll with it tonight. It's going to be fun. All right. So I am converting my MP4 file. That's just like 20 seconds long. It's going to be a background image on the website. Just something to look at. Um, we are going to convert it to a OGV file. So I'm going to click on OGV here. So we're on video.online-convert.com. And I need to choose the file i think i can just drag and drop from here to here i'm almost positive about to find out boom so it's uploading that file 5 40 a.m gareth what are you doing wait you've been on behance since 4 p.m 4 30 and now it's 5 40 a.m that is impressive i remember when i was able to do that now i have to because i've got kids that wake me up all through the night it's all good though. I love them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was saying earlier in the stream that my daughter's, oh, you still have to click start conversion. Okay. So I just uploaded the file. Now I'm going to click the big green start conversion file, which probably is where the viruses get downloaded to my computer. 
from this website that doesn't look suspect at all. But like I said, I've been using it for a couple years. So, oh, it's called Assignment Due. Gareth, I'm probably on the same path you're on. Uh, this website has to get done and I wanted to stream it <clears throat> and share it with you, but I've realized that I've become completely inefficient trying to build this and stream at the same time. So we're just rolling with it. Bernie says, sorry, I was late. No worries. Glad you're here now. Glad you're able to hang out. All right. So the conversion is done and then it's going to download it to my download stack automatically. So we can see that file fab banner video dot OGV. So I've got my OGV file. Now, instead of re uploading it, I can click right, <coughs> excuse me, right here on further convert your file. I'm going to click on that. Scroll down to video converter. Wait. No, no, we want to convert original file again. We're going to click on that one and we're going to go down to video converter and you can't see it behind my head, but we want to go down to web M. We're going to click on that. So it's going to convert it and then download it. And the reason why we're doing this is because um, different browsers support different video formats. So by having all three of these options, you have um, coverage basically. So that way, no matter what browser somebody's looking at, that background video will play in the website. So anyway, this is boring. Let's let's chat some more in the chat. What else is new? So so Gareth, you said. Assignment due. What are you working on? What's new? What's what uh, the last assignment due that I remember going all night was when I was in college. It was an art class. I don't even remember what the project was, but it was due. And uh, I went to Whitworth University and across the corner of the campus was a jack in the box, like a cheap hamburger joint. Right. Think like McDonald's. OK, um, but better. Maybe. Anyway, they had these things called the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. I should see if I can just find this. Jack in the Box Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. Let's just see what the internet gets me. I'm going to I'm going to see if this pulls up. Uh, oh, Jack in the Box has an app. Anyway, I digress. My back to my story. They were like a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty. Yeah, I can't find it. It's all good. Um, <laughs> and uh, I think I ordered like five of them and ate them all in a matter of like a couple hours. I regret everything. All right, um, looking for something else real quick. So Gareth's working on a university assignment for Python. That's impressive that you're working on that and listening to me ramble on. Let's see if I can find one of these. Here we go. This, the internet does not disappoint. This is a junior bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> my wife is, my life is, my life has taken a turn. This is a junior bacon cheeseburger. So try eating five of these in like an hour or less. It'll be instant regret. <laughs> All right. This is the, this is, is it, this is, oh my goodness. Oh, Bernie still needs approval on Facebook. I'm sorry. I will get that for you. <laughs> you, Gareth says he works better with noise. Is that all I am to you right now, Gareth? It's just noise. He's, he's been up, he's in the UK. He's been working since 5, 4.30 PM. It's now like 5.40 where he's at. He's working on a project. I'm just the noise for his background. I'm like, I'm like. <laughs> Late night DJ FM voice. I'll tone it down a little bit. No, you gotta stay awake. I need different kind of volume here to keep you awake for this. Oh no. Rob, you can definitely hear Jenna shaking her head. She's disgusted with me right now. Not really. Kind of. 
All right, back to the stream. We have our files converted. I've got a WebM file and an OGV file or not. It really, this whole time we were talking and it wasn't converting. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't be left alone or unsupervised. Um, Megan says, well, we could bring in the noise. I love it. I love it. All right. <clears throat> Megan, what are you up to? What's new? What are you what are you studying or what are you learning? Or what are you working on? Rob's probably concatenating some sort of data field in Microsoft Excel to import into a business card. That's I can tell you right now that's what Rob is doing. Okay, we got an OGV file, a WebM file, and the MP4 file. So we are going to go back to our website. I'm going to go to my media tab and command click on it because life is not complete unless you have multiple tabs open. If you're my wife, uh, your desktop looks like, well, just all of it, all of the thumbnails and a million tabs open across the top and it hasn't been reset for a month. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're going to add, I'm in the media folder. I'm going to add new. And I can just drag and drop these right in there. So there's the WebM file. There's the OGV file. And then I got the hiccups. And then this MP4 file, the original. I'm just going to drag and drop that one in there too while we're doing this. All right. So you can see the files uploading into the media area inside of WordPress. <laughs> Rob says I'm close. I'm close. Automating data from an auction site to build an online auction guide publication. You do not disappoint. See, I knew it. I knew it was some kind of like automating data concatenation thing. Megan says I was working on Photoshop and Illustrator DCCs, but now it's late and I'm also distracted by this fun stream. Oh, I'm glad this is fun for you. It's fun for me. I'm having a great time. Uh, what is DCCs? Should I know what that is? Bernie says it's cool. Oh, oh, cool. Bernie says I, I was going to tell you that I got the X theme. It's cool. It is. It's great. I. It's very capable. You'll be very happy with it. Uh, I just started moving towards. I don't know. I just kind of found myself going to the same thing. Over and over. And so, um, actually, I went to a conference in Las Vegas for the developers who actually made the X theme and I got to meet the main guys, super cool family, super great guys. Um, hundred percent support them and what they're doing. I just haven't been using the theme lately. Yeah. And I saw the pop-up you did Bernie. You must not have saw the note. I sent you a note in Basecamp. Check it out. Um, thank you so much for that and that support. I appreciate you. All right. <clears throat> All right. So, also, you were an army ranger, right, Bernie? I hope I didn't mess that up, but thank you so much uh, for your service. Uh, appreciate you. All right, <clears throat> we got the videos uploaded. They're ready to go. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go back to my fab page. Okay, and we're gonna put the video in here. At least we're gonna try. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna click on edit page. And this might look like hot garbage. We might have to do some tweaking on this, but we'll get it there. So here's the text. This whole chunk is a row that's separated into these three columns. So the first two columns don't have anything in there. They're just kind of a forcing the text to kind of be a little more central centered. So if I hit preview, um, you can see down here. So the text is kind of centered because we got a blank column on the left and on the right kind of squishing it in a little bit. I might change it. I don't know. We'll leave it there for now. So Megan says, oh, Bernie says, correct. 25 years. That's incredible. I remember that. Yeah. Uh, Megan says, sounds like my, wait, no, no, no. I'm jumping. Your comments are coming so fast. I love it. Megan says Adobe daily creative challenge. Oh, there are nine days to week challenge um, that runs on Behance each month. Brush up on skills. I love it. I want to do that. I want to both participate in one and host one. That would be so fun. Gareth, 
Sounds like mine, many desktops across four screens, three with a browser window. Yes, and a gazillion tabs, one screen. Yeah, 100%. One in portrait mode. Actually, I have one in portrait mode too. I would show you. Can I show you? No, I can't show you and not mess up the music. But yeah, I've got three screens and all kinds of stuff going on here too. All right. <clears throat> uh, so we've got this row. And I'm going to click on the pencil on the very top right of this that that modifies the entire row, the entire container. I'll click on that. And we're going to change the background. So that parallax thing that I built, this is the same way I did that as well. So you click on this background tab and and a lot of themes have something similar. They're just they might be in different places. So uh, The background color is currently black. I can add a background image, which is basic as you'd expect. So let's go ahead and do that just to see this. Let's just throw an image in there. I'll set the image. I've got to save the change here on this little chunk, but that doesn't save the actual page yet unless I hit update or I click previews to see what the changes are. So when I scroll down that mountain text image or that mountain image should be behind the text and it is, and you can't see anything. So what we could do come back up here and this time I'm going to add a color overlay. So we've got the background Now I'm going to click on this tab for color overlay and I'm going to turn it on. Just make it black on both of the, well, we could, yeah, we'll make it black on both of these. The overall strength I could do heavy or medium Hit save preview. And now it's going to make that image much darker behind the text. So you can actually see the text. That's cool. Uh, all right, <clears throat> let's go back into our page. Let's go back to our background, row settings, color overlay. Let's turn that off. Actually, no, I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to come back to my background and instead of an image, let's click, let's delete that. Let's turn on the video background. But before I do that right here, this mouse based parallax scene, this is where I built out the parallax layer. So you can add multiple layers and they stack on top of each other. So that is how I made this this whole chaotic parallaxing multi-stack layer thing. And one that's a little less uh, obnoxious is this guy that I made also. So this is also a parallax background. So what's, what's going on here is there's a fog layer on the front that's a PNG file. You can kind of see it moving in front of him. We've got the elk here that's cut out and we've got the background, it's kind of blurred. And then I've got a water layer in front so all of these layers are stacked as PNGs on top of each other. And as the mouse moves, they shift at different speeds. And I've done this a few times now on the stream. So you can, if you want to see exactly how I did it, I show you in this row, in this background, instead of a mouse based parallax scene, I'm going to turn that off. That's not what we're doing this time. We're just doing a video. So let's turn on the video background. And when I turn that toggle on, it gives me more options down below. So video color overlay. Sure, let's turn on like a darker black overlay. I might need to scrub down the alpha a little bit so it's not, so you can actually see the video behind it. So I could just drop in a YouTube video and I wouldn't have had to convert all of those files, but none of these files are actually up on YouTube anywhere. So what I need to do is go grab that WebM file. So what I'm gonna do is jump over to the media tab. I'm gonna click on the WebM file we just uploaded. And then I'm going to double click, triple click on the file URL and I'll copy it. So this is where this file lives on the server that I just uploaded to. This file is right here. I'm going to jump back over here and I'm going to paste that URL. So this is that video I just uploaded. I'll scroll down. I need the MP4 version now. So let's go find that. I'm going to click right here on the little right angle thing and view the next media. Oh, I need to go left apparently. So we'll go left. So I can see this is the WebM file right here. Let's go left one more. This is the OGV file. So we'll just grab it because we're here. Triple click, copy it, or just click on the copy URL to clipboard button. Jump back over here. And this was the OGV file. So we'll paste it in the OGV text box. What's happening with this music? There we go. All right, so now let's go find the MP4, which is right here. I'm going to copy the URL to my clipboard and paste it in here. All right, now we have it. <clears throat> I should add a video preview image. 
So that way, before the video loads, there's an image in its place. Uh, but for what I'm doing right now, I don't need that. All right, let's save it. What's going on with my music? All right, let's go ahead and preview. Moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Okay, so it's not playing and it's too dark. So let's fix that. So the background, background color, color overlay. Let's just uh, clear that and turn it off for now. Save it, preview it. There we go. So there's the video behind the text. Super distracting video though. So at least for behind text. So what I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe we swap the backgrounds. So this big image becomes what's behind here and the video goes up here. Let's try it. Let's just see what happens. So we're gonna turn off the video background. We're gonna add an image. We're gonna make it this one. Set the image. We should be good there. Save changes. I might need to come back and darken it. Let's come up to the top one, go to the pencil. We have the background, there it is. Color overlay, it looks like we've got a transparent to black and it's very heavy bottom to top. So the bottom is has a darker shade. Uh, let's see what happens when we put in a video. So here's that OGV file. Nope, that was the MP4 that I still had saved on my clipboard. Jump back into media. We need the we need the OGV file. What oh what happened? There's the OGV, copy the clipboard, paste it in there, and now we need the WebM. There's the WebM, copy the clipboard, paste it in there, save it, preview it, let's see how we did. Megan, I used to work in pre-press that takes organization to do the next level. Anyone 24 hours a day needs to be, it. wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, anyone, anybody 24 hours a day needs to be able to open a file and find exactly what they're looking for. So, Megan, I'm literally going through this right now. So, uh, we're working with a team and we're all kind of coming together with different file structures and, and different ways to do things. Sorry. Uh, so... I'd be really interested in how you organize and structure all your files. Good morning, Karim. Welcome to the stream. All right, so we're mostly kind of hanging out, Karim. Join right into the chat. You can see it's kind of going nuts. What's up on uh, YouTube? I don't know how to say. Xavian Studios says hi. Hello. Um, most of the chatter, the chat is happening on Behance. So behance.net, and I'm live streaming there, behance.net slash Mitchell's Garage, and you'll find us. Um, <clears throat> I might be on the homepage tonight um, of, of Behance. So just go to behance.net and look for live streams. You can join us in the chat. Um, camera, I've been good. Um, thanks for jumping in. So the chat, just let Rob and Megan tell you, they're, we're all out of control, having a good time. I'm building a website, kind of. I'm trying. Uh, but it's been too much fun being in the chat and then I get distracted. So, so, um, all right. I've been good. I've been very sleep deprived. My kids started school. So, uh, I'm still staying up too late, but then now I have to get up early in the morning to get them to school. So I'm, I'm tired, but it's my own fault. All right. Let's see how we did. Boom. The video plays in the background. See what happens on the uh, once it cycles through. 
cool. And then you scroll down. And the photo is there. So cool. I dig it. That's good enough. That that gets the job done. All right. So now I have not actually saved any of this. It's just all been working in here. So if this were to close, it would all go away. So let's go ahead and click update so that change sticks. Yeah. Yeah, Gareth, no need to get up if you don't go to bed, 100%. Plus, you don't have to worry about sleeping. You have plenty of time to do that when you're dead. That used to be my motto. Anyway. Who needs sleep? Now I do. All right. Um, do we want to do more videos, you guys? I mean, that's kind of the process. I'm also just trying to get things done. So. All right. So that one's done-ish. Those are the pages. This is the arm site one, which is kind of cool. Close that. This one is Felix 6. Yeah, let's do the Helix one next. So here's the video. I'm gonna go to that online video convert. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. So Jenna is my wife. She's in the chat. Thank you. Uh, is it Pine Do? Pine Do? Uh, says that's cool. Thank you so much, Rob. Oh no, Jenna's in the chat. Megan, all the working file has specific naming convention. So they're all the same. Uh, so we, the main company we're merging into, they do that, but most of us have not fully adapted that yet. Not for lack of trying. It's just after years of doing it a certain way, Trying to merge in. Everybody's still kind of figuring life out. All right. I'm also distracting my wife like I'm distracting uh, Gareth. So Gareth is in the university studying py Python, I think is what you're saying. My wife is actually taking a college course. And it's, it's a business college course. And I don't remember exactly the subject business. I don't know. She's, she's wicked smart and she's supposed to be doing that right now, Jenna. Uh, but she's in the chat. I see her in the chat, having a good time. Oh my goodness. Okay. Megan, uh, in the pre press, each file was assigned a docket number, the main folder inside each folder are new or a few other main, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to do this. This is what she says. So we, we were talking about how we, how we do files <clears throat> for organization. And this is what Megan's response is inside. Each folder are a few other main folders, working files, proofs, links, assets. Um, so here's how I do my file. I, so I talk about this in the graphic design bootcamp, uh, another shameless plug because these courses are how I make my money to be able to do free streams for you guys. So the graphic design bootcamp, uh, if you click by now, you can check it out. I think I have it for 20 bucks on here right now. 200. No, it's on sale. Yeah, it's 20 bucks. Um, and I go through, Oh my goodness, there's a little fly and I go through and I, and I show how I do my file setup and everything else. Um, but here's how I do my files. If you guys want to see this. So currently things are a little messy. Uh, I've been working like a maniac. So I've got all my files I've been working on as shortcuts over here. And I usually go through and I remove them when I'm done, but it's, it's been a lot lately. Uh, here's my files. So I, I go by year. So 17, you know, 2018, 19, 20, whatever. These are the ones that I have referred to recently. So they're on my computer instead of archived on the, on the, uh, server. But when I make a new job, I have a new job template file up here. And in here, there are just a bunch of empty folders. So I have assets, design files and files sent. So assets are anything that I need to do the project. In this case, it could be a word doc, maybe with all the website text, the fonts for the company, 
any ideas I had along the way as I was getting ready to do whatever the project was or any photos that'll help me do the project. So any assets I need to make this. Then I have design files. So anything I use to actually create the artwork that's the editable file. So Illustrator, Illustrator files will go in here or Photoshop files, or maybe I'd make a new folder called IND if I'm Rob because I'm working in InDesign all the time uh, or whatever, wherever you want to put your files, you know, maybe it's a Premiere video file or something. Although if I'm doing video, I structure things much differently, but whatever. Um, design files, I put them in there. And then file sent. So I have two things. And this this file sent folder is what helps me um, down the road, especially. Like let's say three to six months later when the client comes back and says, hey, where's that thing you did? Um, because file sent, if it's in here, then I know either they saw it as a comp, which is like a, a, a mock-up of what it could be. Here's what I think we could do. And then the finals. The finals is what actually either went to press or got published or whatever happened to it. So that way I know if they come back and say, hey, we want to reprint these business cards or we want to reprint these stickers, whatever I sent to press is going to be in this finals folder, right? Um, and that's how I that's how I structure my, my folders, my files. So to see that in practice, uh, if I come down to, I don't know, um, I got to do this so I can check things in case I see stuff that you can't see yet. Okay. Um, you guys are going to have to use your imagination. Oh, here we go. Nope. open and stuff up. Let me check the chat while that's opening. Uh, Rob says, yeah, our pre-press was run by docket numbers. Um, Rob says, Jenna, you have to convince Derek to resurrect the podcast. It was great. Thank you, Rob. She's asked multiple times. In fact, I have a second microphone now that we could do it. And, um, We've been meaning to. Life has been absolutely chaotic. We have five kids now. Um, Rob says we have similar issues. Three production departments all doing things differently. Winnipeg, S S Saskatoon, and Vancouver. All right. So uh, as we're talking, I was pulling up. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Okay. Um, this is a shirt and I know you can't see it yet. I'm just getting things set up so you can see it. Cause some of my files weren't synced yet. All right. So close. So close. Almost done. I'm smart syncing him from Dropbox. Two seconds. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> Gareth says, very similar to my way, old school copy on external SSD, backup to a NAS and Dropbox. Used to rotate hard drives uh, that were kept at a friend's house on a weekly basis. Uh, super cool. So that I'm kind of similar. So I have a uh, Synology NAS um, where I archive everything. And then I've got a physical backup, which doesn't do you any good. This is my backup. So not only is it not plugged into the server, not backing up, but it's also not in my safe as a backup in case my server melts or gets stolen or burns down, whatever. Speaking of, last week there was a storm and our neighbor's house got hit by lightning and the, not the house, in the, their yard, they had a tree that got hit and it caught on fire and it like was burning a lot even though it's pouring down rain i have to sneeze anyway um and i unplugged my server right before it happened and i was like i should probably like the storm was getting closer and so uh, thankful i had a backup but that's why it's not plugged back in because since last week i didn't 
put it all back after I unplugged everything. Anyway, don't be like me, kids. Excuse me. All right. So on these files, I'm showing you my file structure. This was a project I did. Uh, these are the assets. So some of the stock grunge textures I downloaded from Envato Elements, uh, some Adobe stock assets. So I got like uh, this clock. I downloaded all of these gear. It's, you can't really, can I zoom in without it getting weird? No, I can't. Uh, these are a bunch of like gears and stuff like steampunk gears. Um, and what I did with it is I created, I've got these design files. So the, I created a ton of different versions and um, made this with it. So this, this clock represents um, initials of um, like my kids and then like uh, just some different, different times for different life events and things. And then um, made the graphic and then mocked it up on the shirt so they could see how I wanted it to be. I forgot the shirt actually, it's upstairs. Um, we had it printed. And then this is the design file just in black and white that I sent to the screen printers. So this was back in 2019, I think I designed this. Yeah, 2019, so a couple years ago. And I haven't gone into this since I made it, but I can come right back into file sent and go to finals and I can see this, I can see the zipped folder that I sent to press to the printers and I can see exactly what I sent them. So here's the final artwork that they used to make the screens. Here's the final layout mock-up I sent them. And then I sent them Illustrator and EPS files, as well as a PDF, just to have all my bases covered. So in the PDF, I had the mock-up, and then I had the artwork. Because I didn't know what they preferred, and it was easy to do it, just to export it and be done with it. So there's that. <coughs> Megan, are you saying I'm, I'm basically in Canada? I'm right? Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm very, very close to Glacier National Park. I'm about 20, 30 minutes from the entrance of Glacier National Park in the Flathead Valley. So I think Canada, I think the border is only like an hour and a half to two hours north of me. All right. Um, let's go back to that website we were working on. See what we can do there. Um, we might be done. No, we were working on, on this stuff. Okay. So we got the fab stuff done. We were kind of playing with Helix. Okay, so we jumped over into the convert file converter. All right, I'm remembering now. I'm gonna go to video converter. And I need to convert to OGV. So let's upload that file, which apparently I closed that because that makes sense. All right, so let's go to my downloads. Let's go find those folders. And I'm doing the Helix 6 video. So I'm just gonna drag and drop that video here. It's gonna upload it real quick. Is the border open now for Canada? I feel like it is, isn't it? It wasn't for a long time. It might not be actually, because I feel like, so we get a lot of like Alberta plates, license plates on the vehicles here. Cause people come down and, and visit the park. Um, and I feel like I haven't seen any, like not even one lately. So is it closed for you guys to come into the States? I can't remember. All right. Start conversion. So what it's doing right now is it's converting that MP4 file to a what do we do? OGV file. <clears throat> Megan says it's been fun. Bedtime for me. Hope to catch your stream next time. Thank you so much, Megan. Um, if you aren't already, before you go, Megan, make sure you uh, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my, or not like the pay subscribe, but just follow me on Behance because then when I go live, you'll get notifications. So I'd love to have you back in the chat. Uh, how late am I, James? Well, we are an hour and a half into the stream. So. 
it's basically over. Not really. See you, Megan. Thank you so much. Um, so what we're doing, um, we we're working on some website stuff and putting video videos in the background of some of these things. So right now I'm converting a video file using online-convert.com. Um, I haven't gotten any viruses from the site yet. I think it's fine. I've been using it for like two years. So, you know, there's that. <clears throat> Gareth is working on a project for university, staying up late. It's currently almost 6 a.m. where he's at. Rob is doing some data merge craziness. I forget what exactly, but you know, some good things. Uh, Karim, I'm not sure what you're up to. What are you up to? What's new? Bernie, I don't know if you're still here or not. Uh, Bernie was in the house for a minute or two in the chat. My wife, Jenna, is in there somewhere. I think she's studying. She's taking some college courses for business through Harvard, actually. How cool is that? I'm super proud of her. Um, it's 6 a.m. in London. James. Awesome. So what just happened? I went to click on something and I got weird. Did that come up? There we go. Oops. All right. <clears throat> so. Megan says thumbs up and following. Thank you so much, Megan. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Sleep well. And uh, maybe we'll catch you tomorrow or the next day or sometime, whenever. All right. <clears throat> we'll catch you later. Thanks for jumping into the chat. All right. So our file is converted. Did it download? It did. Okay, so we have the OGV file. We need to convert this file again. And we want to convert it to a WebM file. So like I was saying before, we need WebM, OGV, and MP4 file formats because all the browsers behave differently. So you want to make sure you have coverage so that way no matter which browser somebody's coming to your website with, there's going to be a video that will play seamlessly for them to see it. <clears throat> Karim says... Currently working on a practice project for the Behance portfolio, this time creating UI designs of travel planning app. Oh, very cool. I did a travel app once uh, years ago. It wasn't It wasn't really a travel app. It was, um, oh, what was it? Oh, this was like a lifetime ago for me. This was like, I don't know, probably like eight years ago. And I worked on the app icon for it. I didn't do the app, I just did the icon. And I can't remember the name of it to save my life. All right. Did we download it? Did it work? Start conversion. I always forget to push this button. And then I sit here talking, waiting for it to convert. And it's not converting. Sorry, guys. What time is it? So it's 1118 PM here in Montana where I'm at. My kids go to school tomorrow. So I got to get up at six to help get them out the door. So at this point, if I go to bed right now, I could have six and a half hours of sleep on top of yesterday's four and a half hours of sleep. Good thing it's Friday. <clears throat> so the WebM format, uh, Karen, great question to be a hundred percent transparent. I don't know. Like, I don't know which browser needs WebM or OGV or whatever. Um, but the theme that I'm using and you're about to see it, let me get this next file going and I'll finish that, uh, thought. Uh, further convert. No, I've got the two I need. Okay. So the theme that I'm using um, has, so the last banner we just did see right here, I've got a MP4 and OGV and a WebM file. So basically um, the video background that I just did on one of these pages, it, it loads all three of those, or it has them all three in the code. So that way, depending on what browser you're using, whether it's Safari or Chrome or Firefox or whatever, um, whatever the newest Microsoft one is, I can't remember. Uh, the point is, it'll have that version ready to load for that browser that, that wants it. So that's what I know. That's all I know, which isn't very much, but uh, it's enough to, that's the other thing guys. So I, I know a lot about a lot of different things, but I don't know everything, right? Like I know enough to be dangerous in this topic for this specific thing. Cause I've done it a bunch of times, uh, but I'm constantly learning cause things are constantly changing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag and drop the OGV file into here. I'm going to drag and drop the WebM file into here. And then I'm going to go find that MP4 file I already had and drag it into here. So I've got three new video files uploading for this Helix brand. And I'm going to jump over to this page right here. Which page is this it? That's the other one. So um, 
Karen, you had just asked about this. Here's an example. So basically this video background right now, there's three different videos in the background ready to load. And the browser that I'm using is Safari currently loads whichever version it needs is how that works. I've been told I can't verify that because I don't know. Um, all right, so let's edit this page real quick. And uh, I like the background image as it is. So let's see what the settings are. We've got a background image, black background, center top, no repeat, color overlay. So we've got a gradient overlay. So we have a black at 100%, or I guess it's 10, 10, 10 is the color hex code. And then the alpha is this. All right. So I need to basically make that for this one down here for this row where the text is. Let's go to background. Let's add an image. Find the image that's already in my media library. Set that image. And I know I'm kind of flying through things, guys, but uh, I kind of need to start getting serious about getting this thing done. So I got to. I got a boogie, as they would say. I gotta get to it, so. All right, there's that. <clears throat> and then, um, oh, I didn't see. Enable gradient, select color. There's that. Left to right. How about bottom to top? save changes. All right, let's go to this top one. And the background setting, instead of being an image, delete that image, and we're gonna turn on the video background. And then this is where we paste <coughs> the links to all the work that we did. So let's jump into the media library again. This time, we're gonna go to this WebM file, copy it to my clipboard, paste the link. We need the MP4 version. So I'm gonna hit this little left arrow at the top. This is the OGV version, but I need that too, so I'll copy it to the clipboard. Paste that link in the OGV file section. Oh, didn't mean to go here, but here's uh, another one of the tenants. Here's the parallax header I made for them. I think I showed how I did this on one of the streams, so check it out. <clears throat> Karen says, no one knows everything. <clears throat> I get advice from mentors like you. Find it very helpful in utilization. Thank you so much. And yeah, 100%. Like I, so, as a practical example to that, um, I have a subscription to Masterclass and I love it. I love learning from um, different people like Timberland and uh, what's the other guy's name? Sorry, it gets late and then we're going to get hard. But, um, uh, oh, geez, what's his name? Different guys that produce different music. I've been watching a lot of different, different music stuff on, on that. But then also they have a graphic design course by David Carson. Super cool stuff. It's super inspiring. So I'm, I'm constantly learning. All right. So uh, let's go back to our media. Let's copy the MP4 version. Copy to clipboard. Paste that in there. So I've got the MP4 version. OGV. WebM. All the right one. Save changes. Preview changes. And let's see what happens. So this browser might be loading the MP4 version, which as I'm looking at this over here is currently at 38 megabytes. You can't see it. The settings are behind my head. Let me hide that. So this file is 38 megs. I should probably crunch this down to more like 20. And to do that, I could export the video from Premiere at a lower bitrate depth. So it's, it's smaller. And then, um, and or, recompress it from that online video convert thing. So the video works, it plays. If I scroll down, the photo is there and it looks good. I want this to parallax though. So right now it just follows in line with the text. So let's go back, let's go find this background. Background, left top, how about center top so that's where the image is anchored to the top of the screen or oh you can't see my head 
on my hands. Anyway, the image is anchored to the top, to the center, to the left or the right. All right, um, I need parallax background image on scroll. Subtle, perfect, preview. All right. Video loads, very cool. Subtle parallax, perfect, great, done. However, I need to click the update button for that to stick. Um, oh wow, uh, James, working on uh, accessible pages for disability network. That, interesting. Very cool. So James, are you working from home then? Are you uh, like working remote? All right. Uh, let's see here. I got super distracted, kind of zoned out there for a minute. Listen to the music, that happens sometimes. All right, view page. James says, yep. All right, so this video does not play right away and it could be because I'm streaming right now. I've got pretty solid internet though and I'm wired in, so I might need to circle back to this page and compress the video so it loads faster and, and doesn't stall out. So it's kind of working. All right, um, close that. Got the grills. I don't know if I have, oh no, that got sent somewhere else. So I've got a grill video. Let me go in and grab that. <clears throat> Couple new comments. Karen, Karen, Derek, recently I had been looking up and searching some information about hiring system and Behance platform still cannot understand how does payment system work in here? Can you, can you know by any chance? Um, so the payment system. Okay. So I'm, I'm one of like 30 streamers that are on like a beta thing for the subscription. So basically, I don't know if that's what you're asking as far as payment on this platform. Um, I haven't looked into the job. I don't, I don't, I have not looked into the job posting side of this at all um, to know how that end of it works. Um, let me look, let me see if I can figure something out real quick. So under the jobs tab, um, I, I don't have a clue, but with the streaming side of it, it, it syncs with Stripe. And so, um, I, I don't know on Behance. My wife and I use Upwork a lot. Um, only that's because that's what we've used for a long time. And to be totally honest, I never even considered looking at the jobs link in Behance and literally until right now. So uh, I'm excited to check that out. Actually, that is a great resource. I'll send it to my wife as well. Uh, she can check some of that out. Um, so I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know how it works. <laughs> you can't do that to me. Rob says, seeing you showed your loop station earlier, check this out later, not now, stay focused. You can't. Yeah, so he sent me a YouTube link. I at least gotta copy it and pull it open so it'll, so it'll be there ready for me, lurking in the shadows when the stream's over. I'm gonna watch it. Pretty much, basically, is what's gonna happen. Um, Oh yeah, this is gonna be cool, isn't it? All right, I'll check it out. Um, Karim, it's okay, but I guess it should work, isn't it? Is, if, uh, let's see. Yeah, it should work okay if there are job postings being available. So yeah, it. there's enough job postings here that I'm sure you're gonna have no problem um, This is what we're talking about on Behance jobs. 
You can discover your next career move, freelance gig, or internship. Such a cool concept. I cannot believe that I have not looked into this further. I'm 100% going to check this out. Thank you, Karim. <laughs> Rob says, not now, laser focused. I can't. Is this the video you wanted me to check out? I, I'm distracted. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, no, this guy. I've seen his stuff. He is incredible. And so much for laser focus. I'm gone. I. So this is the thing I just bought. I've got one right here. And I even bought a very cool brand new pedal to go with it. Um, this is this is the loop station. So you can loop channels and stuff. Um, and I can't wait to play with it. But I've been too busy doing real projects for work. Um, I will check it out. That looks so cool. I can't wait. Thanks, Rob. Um, all right. Oh, I turned my screen off so I could open eat so much for laser focus, Rob. Um, I turned off my screen because I had to log into email because I needed to grab this Wii transfer from the video guy. Get my files. Download link. I agree. Download. All right. Files are downloading. Quick little preview so I can show you guys. Two seconds. Oh, he sent me like the whole. Really? Uh oh. My computer just froze up. Oh no. Hopefully the stream stays strong. Rob says, have you seen or tried photovibrance.io? I have not. But now that you just showed it to me, I'm gonna open that link in a new window too. I have so many browser window window so many browser windows open. Ridiculous. Easily create mind boggling moving images. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, what do they call these? Um, I've seen some stuff like this. Uh, it was something different, though. Or maybe it was this. I feel like I have this app on my phone. I just never use it. So cool. All right. Um, let's try something real quick. Make sure this is in good shape. Oh, yeah. Super cool. All right. So here's the video for this grill, one of our tenants. So we're going to make this for the background. These grills are so cool. I'll have one of these soon. Look at that. Look at that buttery slow-mo. Oh, so good. All right, so we got to convert this and do the same thing. I'm going to leave the stream on, you guys, but I basically have to just do the same thing over and over. Um, I could log out, but I love hanging out with you guys. So if you have questions, let me know. But let's convert some files. Yeah, uh, James over on YouTube says, Behance Jobs, news to me, thanks for the tip. I know, news to me too. I totally overlooked that, completely overlooked that. Um, got too many windows open. I need another screen, just like Gareth. Are you still with us? Gareth, are you working on your Python homework? You finally crashed, go to bed. Um, all right. I need to grab this file. I need to convert it. So let's go to video converter. We are going to convert it to a WebM. Drag and drop the file in there. going to be huge. I should have compressed it. All 
Oh man, I just started getting tired. Stay strong. Let's do one more video. I want to do one more video, get this up for the site that I'm working on. All right. <clears throat> Rob, aren't you an hour ahead of me? Isn't it like 1230 where you're at? All right, the video is uploaded, which I have fast internet. That took forever. This must be a bigger file. Oh yeah, and I'm streaming. Oh, it's 53 megs. Shoot, I need to compress this. All right, well let's learn. Let's learn some Premiere stuff real quick. Gareth says WebM MP4 and. Theria are supported by Chrome and Opera and Android. Okay. I don't know if you meant to say Theria. I don't know what that is. I've been poor and anyway, um, same time zone as me, but I got to bounce soon. Yeah. Thanks Rob for tuning in. I always love seeing you in the chat. Thanks for hanging out. Karen got to go take care everyone. And thank you so much for the help and insights. You're welcome. Thanks for hanging out with us for a bit. All right, so I opened up Premiere. I'm going to make a new project real quick. And let's see, where do I want to put this? In the spirit of wording, spirit of working utterly chaotic. No, we are going to do this right. Let's put this in the folder it belongs. Website. Parallax header design. Where does this belong? Nobody knows. on image oh I did this all backwards I get to this time of the day and I have such decision fatigue that I just can't even think straight um, Gareth says no idea it's an on encoding.com talking about what file types the browsers see for video like what they play and he was saying that mp4 webm and theory t-h-e-o-r-a theora they're supported by chrome and opera I should save this better. Um, good grief. I should have done this totally different and I can't think straight. So I'm just gonna make a new folder in here called video backgrounds. And uh, we'll throw it in there. Which one is this? This is the Hellraiser grill. All right. All right, I'm in Premiere. Gonna start a new project. Let's put the media file where it belongs so it can link and not break links, video backgrounds. Um, oh, I should do this differently too. I'm just gonna drag and drop it there onto the server. So I copied it, we'll drag that one to the trash. New folder, let's make a folder called exports. And that's where we'll stash all of these guys that I already used. Oh, shoot. Stop. There we go. All right, so we got those for later. Hello, Adobe Live, Gareth says. All right, um, so we have the video backgrounds. We have the project started. I've got the video that I need to compress. So it's at 56 megs right now. And I wanna get this closer to like 20 cause it's gonna be a web background. So here's the video. This is gonna be a web background. 50 megs is way too big. I'm gonna drag and drop this right into the import media to start. We're in Premiere right now. Move this guy out of the way. Maybe over here. Oh my gosh, I need another screen. There we go. Now I'm going to drag and drop this right over into the timeline to make a new timeline, a new sequence with the video. Set my in point, my out point. Command M to export. And I'm going to match source, but instead of a high bit rate, I'm going to go to a medium bit rate. 
Let's just see what that does. Look at that. File size, 11 megs. Look how much better that is. Perfect. And there's no audio, so I don't need to export audio. That saved me a meg. Go ahead and, oh, you know what? I feel like last time I exported video, my stream basically melted down. So I'm gonna tentatively say goodnight to you guys just in case this all burns and melts down. Bernie says the course on Upwork was really good. Oh, thanks Bernie, I'm glad you checked that out. So the, he's talking about uh, the course on Upwork. My wife made a course on about how to use Upwork as a freelancer. Um, she has made over $100,000 on the platform. Um, so she knows what she's doing. Uh, and she made a course basically about how to land work as a freelancer on Upwork. Let me get this going. I'm gonna click export. It should be fine. I'm gonna click on this title first to put it. Oh geez. Uh, yeah, we'll put it in here. Save. Export. It should go fast. The stream should be strong. Oh yeah, no problem. Um, anyway, if you want to learn how to land work as a freelancer on Upwork, you could probably apply most of what she teaches on Behance as well. And in fact, maybe we'll make a course on it. I will have her make a course on it. We'll figure it out. Um, anyway, she gives all of the tips and tricks. She gives out PDF and Word docs with the exact verbiage she uses to contact clients and the estimates and proposals she submits. It's pretty good stuff. All right, <clears throat> let's jump over to Finder. We just exported this Hellraiser video and now it's only 10 megs instead of this one, which is 50. I maybe need to do that with all of the other video files too, but oh, I don't, it's just too much work right now. Okay. Make sure the video plays back. Looks good. Okay. Uh, now what we need to do is compress it or not compress it, convert it like we've done with everything else. So I'm going to drag this window over here. I'm going to go grab my browser and find the online video convert drop files here. So let's go grab it right now. See this one that was 53 megs. Let's go grab the one that we just compressed, drag and drop, upload it. We'll delete that earlier one that we did. All right, um, it's uploading, it's almost done, so close. All right, so it's done, or it's done uploading, but now I need to actually click the start conversion button every single time I forget that. All right. Anybody reading any good books these days? I just got the Harvard Business Review. The year in tech, 2021. Oh, funny. It uh, green screen because the book is green. That's actually a really cool effect. In fact, just totally disappears. Anyway, reading that one a little bit. Seeing what's new in tech for 2021. Put that download. All right, so there's the video as a WebM file. And now I need to further convert my file to an OGV. And start conversion. I might have to redo all that other work that I did now that I realize I could have compressed the video files down much further. We'll see. We'll see if it's an issue if the pages load slow. Hey, James uh, says, I need my breakfast. Thanks for streaming today. Glad to join live briefly. Thanks for have or, uh, thanks for joining us. It was good to have you here. I'm gonna change the size of my text box. 
Whoa, there we go. That got exciting for a minute. All right. <clears throat> Almost done. So close. But not really, but kind of. All right, so that downloaded. Grab my finder window. Grab the download. Drag that OGV file over here. So now I've got the Hellraiser banner. I've got the MP4, the OGV, the WebM, and they're all under 20 megs, which is fantastic. So let's go grab the, let's see where we're at. Uh, there it is. Okay, so here's the banner. I forgot I did the parallax one, which is super cool. So maybe I'll put the video in here. Sure, why not? Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna click edit page. And while that's loading, I'm gonna jump into the media library. Let's upload those three files that we just did. So I'm gonna highlight all three at the same time and slam all three of them over here. They upload at the same time. Ooh, I love the books. Okay, what do you guys say? Um, <clears throat> Rob says, just finished Where Men Win Glory. It says, awesome book. Garrett says, rereading the Foundation series in downtime. Might get them finished by the time it starts streaming on Apple TV later this month. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, I love Audible. So I have a lot of my books on my phone. I've got so many books. Oh, I, so I use my phone to stream the music to the board. I've talked about this before. Stacy, this one's for you. You're asking about how to upgrade your... Well, this is probably not for you. But the point is, so I have my phone playing Spotify. I'm playing Stream Beats by Harris Heller because they're uh, copyright free. The CD or the what is it? DC, what is it called? DRMC or whatever. Um, free, so that way I can like stream it, and not worry about my stream getting shut down. Uh, but I stream it with Bluetooth to the board, to this road board, and then I can turn the volume up and down from the board without having to touch my phone, but I can't pull stuff up on my phone or text people because it goes through the Bluetooth channel. Then I have uh, Spotify open on my computer because then I can use my stream deck to pause and play and jump to the next track and whatever from here. And it controls Spotify on my computer, which is controlling Spotify on my phone, which is broadcasting to the Bluetooth. <laughs> Such a nerd. I love that I figured that out one day. But that's how I do it. So um, anyway, Audible on my phone. So when I mow the lawn, I have my headphones on and I listen to books. I love it. It's good stuff. All right. <clears throat> what I love about books is that there's somebody who's done, gone before you and done what you want to do. And they wrote down how to do it. So if you want to get somewhere fast, find somebody who's been there and wrote about it and get their book. All right, we got our videos. So I'm gonna click on this first one. So that way, so I'll click on this one here. So when it opens the video window, now I can just click left for the last two and really quickly grab these links. All right, so let's do it. Copy the URL, jump over to this page, scroll down, find where I had that image background. I'm gonna delete the image. I'm gonna turn on a video background. And I don't remember which video file I copied, so we're just gonna paste it and see what it is. MP4, I got lucky. No, I didn't, that's a WebM. So we're gonna paste it down here too. Delete that guy. Jump back to the media library. Hope it loads. There it is. Um, and we need the WebM file. Let's go left one, probably have the OGV next. Uh oh, this page is frozen. Come on. Come on. All right, well, we're just going to close it because I'm super impatient. I'm going to command click on this to open up a new dashboard window. Go to media. 
go to that OGV file, copy to clipboard, jump to the other tab, find the OGV input box, throw that in there. And now we need the WebM file. So let's find that file. WebM, paste, boom, done. Let's add a preview image. We'll just make it this guy. There it is. Boom. And we're going to save changes. We're going to preview changes and just see what happens. Oh, so good. I love it. I love it. One thing I just realized, oh, there's so much work to do. I have not tested this on mobile at all. That'll be next. I just saw the replay of myself over on the screen. It looks like we've got about a 30 second delay, but I noticed I was like itching my, they, when I wear my headphones this long, my ears start to get itchy. I apologize. Anyway, so close. All right, guys. Um, okay. So this needs to turn. Okay. So this, this background, notice how the logo changes colors. So this theme supports different color backgrounds and different color logos to be able to have contrast. So I'm going to click on this row, click on the pencil, scroll down and text color is set to custom. I'm going to set it to, I think light. Hit save, hit preview. And now it's going to think that it needs the light text on a dark background. So the logo will also be light. Maybe. Yep. That worked. So the header is now light. Okay, cool. All right, I think that's probably enough for tonight. Rob says that's awesome work. Now I'm hungry and have to bounce. Have a great night. Thanks for the stream. Thank you, Rob. I'm, I think I'm about to bounce as well, so you, you won't be missing much. Uh, but if you did miss any of the stream and you want to watch the replay, I will leave the replay up for you. You can find it on everywhere, on Twitch, on YouTube, on Facebook on Behance. The chat lives on Behance. Um, currently a featured streamer on Behance. So that is my home currently. Um, been loving the community here. It's been so cool to meet all of you guys and, and have so much fun in the chats. Uh, <laughs> Rob says, please pass an apology. Dude, you didn't scare her off the chat. Uh, he says, please pass an apology to Jennifer for scaring her off the chat. She had that college homework stuff to work on. Um, so she's actually a, she's got a four year degree, but she's that back to that continuing learning. She's taking some special classes on some business development stuff. So, um, we will resurrect the podcast. I know we will Rob. So stay tuned for that. Uh, my wife and I have a podcast and it was a lot of fun and then life happened and we had two babies and we stopped recording. So we'll bring it back. Um, <clears throat> anyway, if you missed anything, the replays will be live. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tap the buttons and do the things so that when I do go live, you guys get notifications and you can join me in the chat because I love answering your questions. When you guys have questions, I love helping you out. And more importantly, I love this community we're getting here. It's been a lot of fun. Um, also, don't forget, I've got that subscription. If you're on Behance, you can join and get behind the scenes files and access, see my office tour, my home office tour, and lots of cool things. I'm going to be adding much more to it. Uh, Bernie mentioned earlier that the Upwork course was awesome and the Upwork course, you actually have access to it through the subscription. So you can get access there. It's also on Skillshare. Um, lots of places to grab the content. So I'm going to bounce. I think I'm going to go to bed cause I got to get up in like five hours, uh, <laughs> six hours to get my kids to school. So Gareth says, thanks for the stream. Agree. You can never stop learning. You guys are awesome. Been so much fun. I'm going to shut it down and uh, get some rest. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe. Let's go. There we go. All right, guys. Thanks for is. watching today. I uh, hope you learned a lot of valuable information, and I appreciate you sticking around to the very end. But before you go, just a couple things I want to remind you. The first is, if you haven't already, feel free to like this video if you can, depending on where you're watching from. Give it a thumbs up or 
subscribe or tap the bell or give it a follow if you can. And uh, also maybe even just copy the link up in the browser and share it with a friend or post it to your Facebook page. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, but again, just want to say thanks for uh, sticking around and I'd love to continue going live as much as possible and helping you guys out. So the best way that I can help you is by you commenting on the videos below. I read those comments. I engage with them as soon as I can, if I can, when I see them. So if it's live, I'll try and answer you right away. If this is a replay, you can still comment on the video and uh, I go back and I read those. So I just wanted to say thanks again for watching and let me know what you're working on. I'd love to help you out and hopefully we will see you in the next live. And to be sure you don't miss it, like, like this video and subscribe and follow and do the things. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.